Hello, everybody. My name is Jim McCulloch. I'm the Education and Outreach Coordinator for the Janesville Performing Arts Center, and I would like to welcome you to Family Fest uh, 2018. Uh, it's a great family event, free event. We've got lots of activities that we're doing. Uh, as you can hear in the background, we've got two musical petting zoos. Uh, we've got Napton Music down here with the ukulele demonstrations. Uh, Voight Music is here with their petting zoo. Uh, we've also got lots of activities in the other room that you've been seeing throughout the morning. Uh, Janesville Performing Arts Center has uh, a lot of activities going going on as well. Um, we've got crafts, we've got demonstrations, we have, uh, what else is going on in there? Costume dress up, we've got raffle prizes, and all of this is a free event just to give back to the community, just celebrating the arts for families. Hi there, I'm Ed Schultz and I uh, work for Napton Music Notes, which is a full service music store uh, in the Janesville Plaza out on Milton Avenue. Um, we give lessons in uh, many different instruments, uh, guitars, ukulele, bass, strings, all of your uh, brass instruments. Uh, we also have piano and vocal lessons available and uh, we sell a wide variety of music instruments. Um, I'm here today representing Napton Music at the JPAC Fun Fest, so kids seem to be having fun. Hi, my name is Edie Barron and I'm the Executive Director of the Beloit Janesville Symphony Orchestra. I'm here at JPAC today as part of their Family Fun Fest and I just want to say that JPAC is really the place to go. Um, I can't believe how many different activities uh, JPAC keeps having. It's like they're busy almost every day something is going on so there's always something wonderful to do. And the Beloit Janesville Symphony is one of the many organizations, uh, arts groups, that perform here at the Janesville Performing Arts Center. And we're really glad to call JPAC our Janesville home. We also do uh, perform in Beloit, often at Eaton Chapel, um, sometimes at other places. Our next concert coming up is the first weekend in May, May 5th and 6th, and we're doing Beethoven Symphony Number no. 9. And we will have a chorus to sing the famous Ode to Joy. Uh, it's the uh, Beloit College Choir under the direction of Christopher Joyner. We're really excited about that. So I hope a lot of you come. And next year we have a full season set starting uh, at the end of September here at JPAC. Um, and we've got a little bit of something for everyone to enjoy, whether it's classical music or pops. Uh, we have a couple of guest artists uh, in the area who will be playing with us. And we have education programs. So if you're new in the area and you haven't heard of us, please come visit or go to our website and we can let you know more about the symphony and how you and your family can get involved. For those of you who have been our faithful followers for years, I'm glad you're still around and we look forward to seeing you next year. And a little teaser for our 2018-2019 uh, season is in December, I believe it's Sunday the 16th, the Chord Hawks, the Badger Chord Hawks, will once again be joining us on stage here at the Janesville Performing Arts Center. So go to BeloitJanesvilleSymphony.org and read all about us and our education programs. And once again, I want to thank JPAC for putting on this family fun fest. I'm having a good time here. Um, and we hope to see you at JPAC. Thanks.
Hi, I'm Marla Verdone. I'm a Davis facilitator, which means I do dyslexia and ADHD correction. And I'm located here in Janesville at Just Imagine Solutions for Dyslexia and ADHD. And today I'm here at JPAC Family Fest um, with some little ones doing some clay work. And when we learn with clay, we remember things. So some of the examples that I'm showing them is how to learn with letters, bringing the two-dimensional symbol world into three dimension with clay. So for example, I have um, a little figure right here um, looking down a road saying, indicating which, and then I have the word underneath it. And that's how I have kids learn a lot of the um, sight words and off of their alphabet. But I do a lot of work individually for adults and children with ADD, ADHD, handwriting, dyslexia, learning, and just about any kind of learning difficulty that you might have. Hi, I'm Laura from Voight Music Center, and we're here today um, at Family Fun Fest doing an instrument petting zoo, um, offering children the opportunity to try instruments that they may never have had the chance to try before. Um, it's been a pretty successful year this year, and we've had a lot of fun. Um, we're glad to be invited back. Um, please see us down the street, 34 South Main Street at Voight Music Center for um, all your musical instrument needs, rentals, lessons, repairs, uh, and come see our community room. things that we do here at the Performing Arts Center. And like I said, I'm in charge of the education and outreach programming. We have lots of classes going on. We have a youth choir. Uh, our youth choir performs um, twice a year. We have two sessions, one in the fall and one in the spring. It's 12 weeks. Kids get to perform, they get to dance, and they get to sing. Um, it's been a fabulous program. So if you're looking for something to do for the kids, uh, third grade through uh, 12th grade is what we offer. Um, you can get more information by contacting us at our website, which is Janesville Performing Arts, janesvillepac.org. And you could also call us down here at 758 0297. Uh, other things we have going on down here as well, we've got classes for acting, uh, a lot of kids programs, so we've got eight weeks of classes for each of the acting classes we do, and then in the spring and in the fall, we do a music and drama festival at the end of each of those seasons. And um, it's a great fun for a lot of family entertainment, we've got a lot of school activities that go on down here, and coming this summer we will be doing our second annual summer production, which will be Willy Wonka Jr. Uh, auditions for that are May 22nd and 23rd from 4 to 7 p.m., and then the performances are in August so it's our summer program it starts in July and then it goes for four weeks and then we have a performance in uh, August 9th 10th 11th and 12th here at the Performing Arts Center lots of things going on so I encourage everyone to come down and find out everything that the Performing Arts has to offer